Hey guys, Josh here. I'm here with Coach Katie. We're gonna go over this week's density set workout. So we're gonna have six stations. We're gonna have 90 seconds per station, two exercises in most of the stations. We'll have about 20 seconds to rotate. We're gonna go around the room twice. We'll have a break halfway through. Um, today's a chance to get stronger. Challenge yourself with those weights. You ready, KK? Yep. Okay, so on the ropes, we're gonna do some single arm alternating rope slams. So Katie's gonna do one rope, one arm at a time on these rope slams using those slams. Sit that butt back to slam that rope down. Squeeze those butt tight to get that rope up. Five on each arm, and then you're coming over to the wall. You're gonna grab a, a slam ball here. We're gonna do some wall ball slams, holding that ball right under your chin, at your chest the whole time. Deep breaths on the way down as you come up out of that squat. Slam that ball against the wall. Remember, you're not letting go of the ball this time. You're just trying to smash that ball against the wall as hard as you can. You're gonna do five of those, and then you're back over the rope slam. So back and forth on those two. From there, we're gonna come over to the suspension trainers. We're gonna be doing our chest press here. So you wanna get on those tippy toes, arms out straight, just like doing a push up here. We're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades, deep breath in on the way down, push that air out. As you come back up, deep breath in, try to keep those knuckles turned out. Don't go quite as slow this time, can't be right there and then press back, press back up. There we go. Deep breath. You're gonna do five of these. If you need to make it lighter, you just step your feet out here. If you really wanna challenge yourself, you can turn around and make it a little heavier by getting directly underneath that anchor point. This is pretty challenging though, so take your time with it. The second exercise, we're gonna be facing away from the wall. We're gonna do our forward lunges. So you're in that standing posture here. You're gonna take a big step forward, squeezing that back glute nice and tight. We're gonna get a nice stretch through the hip flexors here. Nice stretch through those pecs. And then you're gonna push up with your leg and pull with those arms at the same time. So you can do five, well, here's, no, let's go three and three here. Three on one leg, three on the other, opening up, making that big T, getting that big stretch in, and then you're back to that chest press, back and forth on these two. From there, we're actually gonna be coming over to the sled. Let's go to the sled first, let's go to the sled first. We're gonna be doing our rope sled pull. So you're gonna get down low, keep those hips low, and then reaching with that arm, rotating through that torso. Here, notice how Katie's pulling that hand across her chest as she reaches here, pulling as fast as she can, nice controlled. Make sure, I want you to pull fast, but I want you to make sure you're pulling with good form here. Then when you get that sled down here, you're just gonna push that sled all the way back down to the other end. Then you're gonna hustle back to the end of this row, and you're gonna do it all again. You're gonna try to get as many, or get that sled down here as many times as you can in that 90 seconds. From there, we're coming over with the kettlebells. We're gonna be doing some deadlifts today. So, arch your lower back, chest up, feet, or kettlebell right between those feet. Use those hips and squeeze those glutes as you drive those heels into the floor. Tall posture at the top. Ribs are tucked toward the belly button. Abs are engaged here. Challenge yourself with this weight. Try to go heavy here. If you've been doing the same weight for the last few weeks, maybe it's time to go a little bit heavier on this one. Second exercise, we're gonna do a single arm row. So you're gonna grab a lighter kettlebell, I'm assuming here. Arch that lower back, sit those hips back, squeezing that shoulder blade, pulling that hand right up toward the armpit and ribs here, pushing that air out. As you pull, you'll do five on one side, then you'll switch arms, you'll do five pulls on the other side, and then you're back to those deadlifts. So back and forth on that one. Now, Katie, I'm sorry, one second. Let's show them, if that's a little hard on your lower back, you'll get, you'll get that stagger stance here, resting your hand or your forearm on that thigh, and then squeezing that shoulder with the other leg, and then you'd switch sides, do the same thing on the other arm and leg for that one. From there, we're gonna be coming over to the rowers. On the rowers today, we're gonna be going nine 90 seconds, try to get as many meters as you can. Your goal is somewhere between 250 and 500 meters. I really want you to challenge yourself. I know it seems like a wide range, but if it's a struggle to get to 250, challenge yourself to get to 250. If you're over 250, try to get to 300, 450, whatever that is. Really challenge yourself with the meters here. Deep breath in on the way, in, pushing that air out as you pull. Was that 90 seconds yet, KK? Keep yeah. going, keep going. Okay, deep breath, and then when you're out of here, when you're done that 90 seconds, put the hand over back in the holsters, push those tabs, get those feet out, and we're moving on to the last station here, which is the dumbbell station. We're gonna be doing some goblet squats here, so you have a couple options. You can hold two dumbbells at your shoulders as you squat, deep breath in, push that air out the top. You can also just hold one dumbbell right there at your chest in that goblet position. 
or you can hold it with both hands at the side here, deep breath. You're gonna get five heavy squats, and so really challenge yourself with that weight, and then you're gonna grab two dumbbells, and you're gonna do some push presses here. So it's just a little booty bump, slight bend in those knees, and then drive those hips forward, explode up, and throw those dumbbells right to the ceiling. Deep breath in, push that air out. One more, KK, deep breath in, throw those dumbbells up to the ceiling, nice and controlled. You're doing five push presses, then you're back to those squats. Okay, that's our density set workout for this week. Great job, KK. Thanks,